I am Anil Kumar. Let me thank all my viewers and subscribers for watching my videos and posting excellent questions. You must be wondering why today all the videos are for grade 10 students. Well, I have a request which says at any cost, so please provide these solutions. And there are more than 15 questions which I need to answer. Well, my cost is only that you just share my videos, subscribe to them, and if you like, that'd be good. Okay, so here we go. From coordinate geometry, grade 10, it seems all these questions are from previous test papers. And all over the world, I've seen in grade 10, distance from a point is a very important topic. So it's going to help many other students all over the world. So we'll just actually provide solution of four questions. Find the relation between x and y such that point x, y is equidistant from point 7, 1 and 3, 5. Question 2. Find the value of k for which the point 0, 2 is equidistant from two points 3k and k5. Question 3. Distance between two points 8x and x8 is 2 square root 2 units. Then find the value of x. Question 4. If the point PXY is equidistant from two points minus 3, 2 and B 4 minus 5, prove that y equals to x minus 2. So let me write A here. Now the formula which I'm going to use is the distance formula which is x2 minus x1 whole square plus y2 minus y1 whole square square root is the distance between the two points a and b where a can be let us say x1 y1 and b is x2 y2. Now to solve such questions we have to square this and inside you need some perfect square kind of a thing. So we might use another formula which is uh, like this a plus b whole square is equal to a square plus 2ab plus b square but most of the time we'll use a minus b whole square. It could be plus or minus since the values here could be positive or negative right. So you might use these formulas. Now some of you can actually pause the video, answer these questions and check with my solutions. That would be a great idea. We just need to use these formulas, correct? So let's begin with our solution. Question number one. Find the relation between x and y such that point x, y is equidistant from the points 7, 1 and 3, 5. So basically, what we are saying is that we have two points here. Let's try to understand. We have two points. Let me join them. Now, if I say something is same distance away, it really means what? I mean, it could go through the midpoint, right? And the bisector. So that could be the line which we are talking about. So we are trying to find equation of this line all the time. You get my idea, right? So that is the basic concept of solving all these questions, right? So let us say uh, this point we have, we call this point as 3, 5. I'm just explaining it in my first video. Uh, and in the other parts, we'll straight away provide the solution, correct? So we want the equation of this line, L1, correct? Okay. And we are going to use the formula, distance is square root of x2 minus x1 whole square plus y2 minus y1 whole square square root. So we are saying find the relation between x and y such that this point xy is equidistance means same distance from these two points. Let's say the point xy is right there. Let's call this point P which is xy. So we are saying that this distance from P to A is same as the distance from P to B. 
So we can apply this formula and write down the distance. So from P to A, the distance, what we want to say here is that P A distance is same as P to B, right? Normally we say like this, put it like this. Distance is always positive. So in my formula, I forgot to write absolute value, but distance is always positive, okay? Well, well, squares will make it positive and square root of any number is positive. That makes sense. Okay, so let's begin. So we have x to this. We'll write x minus 3 whole square plus y minus 5 whole square equals 2. x minus 7 whole square plus y minus 1 whole square. Now, normally, as you see, there is a square root. So let me put square root this time. Next time, we'll do distance square equal, right? So the next step will be to square both sides. So when you square, the square roots vanish. So what you get here is x minus 3 whole square plus y minus 5 whole square equal to x minus 7 whole square plus y minus 1 whole square. So now we are going to expand using the perfect square formula. So we get x square minus 2ab which is 6x plus square of 3 which is 9. This will give us y square minus 10y plus square of 5 which is 25 equals 2 x square minus 14x twice 7 plus 49 which is square of 7 plus y square minus 2y plus 1. Perfect. So we'll just square this. We use the formula a plus minus b whole square equals to a square plus minus 2ab plus b square. Good. So, so that is how we move. So I hope the steps are absolutely clear. So at this stage, these x squared terms will cancel and y squared terms will also cancel. So we get a linear equation. We would like to put y on left side, x things on the right side. So that is our strategy. Okay. So we just leave y items here, which is minus 10y. Right. And then we'll take all these x items to that side. Here we have minus 2y. Bringing it to the left gives you plus 2y equals 2. Let's take them one by one. 6x. Then we have 9 plus 25 is 34, right? So we'll take minus 34. Here we have minus 14x. Then we have 49 plus 1, which is 50. So we have plus 50. Correct? So minus 10y is equal to uh, minus 8x and here we have uh, if you take away 34 from 50 you get 16 perfect dividing by minus 8 will give us y equals 2 dividing by minus 8 x and that becomes minus 2 do you see that so we get our answer y equals to x minus 2 so our solution in this particular case is y equals to x minus 2. Perfect. So that is the relation between x and y in the given scenario. It actually represents your line L1 as I discussed earlier. So I hope the concept is clear. Now with this concept we can actually move very fast and answer the other three questions without wasting much time. I like you to pause the video and answer these questions, right? Find the value of k for which the point 0, 2 is equidistant from two points. So this time, let's say we have these two points, correct? We can always draw them horizontal for convenience, right? So let's say the two points are 3 and k. This is k and 5. We want this point 2. Uh, I mean, it should have been the other side, but don't worry about that. Just sketch. This is for our convenience. Is that okay? Do you understand the concept? So we want to show that this point is same distance from 
these two sides. That is what we want to show. Correct. So using the concept which we just learned, the distance here from, let's say, point P to A and B, right? So, so P A will be 0 minus 3 whole square plus 2 minus K whole square square root should be equal to 0 minus k whole square and 2 minus 5 whole square. Now the order does not really matter. I could have written k minus 0 and 5 minus 2. It doesn't really matter. Perfect. So now when you square it, the square root vanishes. So we get 3 square which is 9 plus this is 2 square minus 2ab so that is 2 times 2 times k plus k square should be equal to k square plus 3 square right so we get 9 plus 4 minus 4k plus k square equals to k square plus 9 as you can see k square and k square cancel so this time we have a linear equation so this is 13 minus 4k equals to 9 and uh, we could write this as minus 4k equals to 9 minus 13 which is equal to 4 so minus 4k equal to minus 4 so k is equal to 1 correct dividing both sides by minus 4 so we get our answer as k equal to 1 Perfect. Now, let's move on and take the next question. Question number three. Distance between two points. Now, this time, we are given the distance between two points. Distance between two points is this much, 2 square root 2. So, we are given any two points. Well, it's not a horizontal line, but I'm just trying for convenience. Let's say 8x and x8 and this distance is 2 square root 2 we need to find what x is correct so the distance formula says that the distance 2 square root 2 should be equal to square root of x minus 8 whole square plus 8 minus x whole square square root is that okay now we can square both sides. So when you square both sides, we get 4 times 2, right? Equal to. Now you could write this as x minus 8 whole square times 2. Both are same things, right? Since, you know, 8 minus x whole square is also equal to x minus 8 whole square. Perfect. When you square, it becomes same thing, okay? So we get 8 equals to 2 times x squared or you could have divided and done right so what we will do here is we'll simplify we'll just cancel this 2 with this 2 right so what we get so this is simpler right so we get 4 equal to x minus 8 whole square so when we get 4 equals to x minus 8 whole square we can square root so we can do square root of 4 equals to x minus 8 8. Now, whenever you do square root, you have to do plus and minus. And this is very critical step. Whenever you do square root, you have to do plus and minus. So, this particular thing here is not to be forgotten. Correct? So, let me show you this solution once again here. So, what we have here is x minus 8 equals to plus minus. Square root of 4 is 2. That is what we get. That means x minus 8 equals to 2, right, or x minus 8 equals to minus 2. So we are heading for two solutions here. So we get x equal to 2 plus 8, which is x equals to 10, or we get x equals to minus 2 plus 8, which is x equal to 6. Perfect. So as you can see, we get two values of x in this particular case. Right. So our answer is, let me write down here, answer is x equals to 10 
or x equals to 6. So both are the answers. So don't forget to make it plus and minus so that you get both the answers. Well, you would actually expand and do as we were doing in all other questions also. Then also you'll get the same answer. Perfect. I hope that makes sense. Now here is the last question for us which says if the point PXY is equidistant from two points Prove that y equals to x minus 2. So we are given the relation which we need to prove. So we'll see that all these four questions are related with a twist. So in your exam, the same concept could be asked in different ways. And these four questions give you a good spectrum of the same. Perfect. So now we are looking for if point this is equidistant from those two points. So for simplicity, I'm drawing this like this. Okay, so my drawings are not to the scale, but they are good to understand. That's the whole concept, right? So we get 4 minus 5. Let's say this point is A, this point is B. And we're looking for a point P, which is XY. And what we are saying here, basically, is that P is equidistant from these two points. So same distance from these two points. Got it. So that means again distance formula. So we do square root of x minus minus 3 which becomes plus 3 plus y minus 2 whole square should be equal to square root of x minus 4 whole square plus y minus minus becomes plus. Now we can square both sides and expand inside. So we get x squared plus 2ab means 6x plus 9. And here we get y squared minus 4y plus 4 equal to x squared minus 8x. So twice this number plus 16. And here we get plus y squared plus 10y plus 25, correct? So first thing, cancel x squares and x squares, the y squares and y squares. So most of the time they cancel. So you have a linear equation. So let's rewrite So what we have. We get 6x, 9 plus 4 is 13, minus 4y equal to minus 8x, 14 and 16 and 25, let's add them. So, so we get 6 plus 5, 11, 1, 2, 2, 41, right? And here we have plus 10y. Now bring y's to the left side. So when you bring y to the left side, we get minus 4y minus 10y equals 2. x is on this side, so minus 6x. We have, we'll also bring 13. Let me write this first, minus 8x minus 13. And we have plus 41. So that becomes minus 14y equal to x is also this is minus 14x and here we have 41 we have to take away from uh, 41 minus 13 so that gives you 28. Now divided by minus 14 gives you y equals to x minus 2 so we divide both sides by minus 14 correct. So that gives you the equation y equals to x minus 2. And that is what we were interested in showing. Correct? So I hope that makes sense. So I hope you understand how to solve question related to this topic. Points equidistance from two points. The question could be asked in four different ways as I have discussed. And that should help you to get full marks in your own exam. Thanks for watching and all the best and don't forget to share my videos and subscribe to them. Thank you.